Well, first of all, this is our 15th annual Empty Bowls Luncheon, and it's so important to our community. This benefits the food bank of Manatee, and as you know, we still have so many people that need our help and need our support. And today, the attendees receive a bowl, and this signifies helping to fill the bowls of our neighbors in need. Well, just as you say, Charles, there is still a great need in Manatee County. We still have so many families that are living under the poverty level. Yes, they're back at work, but no, they're still not on their feet. And they have to decide, do they pay the utilities or do they buy food? So that's where the food bank comes into it. We had over 30 restaurants donate soup from Manatee County and they are a variety of delicious soups and they do they donate the soup and so our attendees today will get to enjoy those soups they get to taste a couple of uh, samples and uh, we have bread here today from Publix we today we have hometown desserts who has donated cupcakes for everyone so it's going to be a great day not to mention the beautiful bowl that they will take home so the Food Bank of Manatee is the largest hunger relief organization in Manatee County. We serve over 100 agencies and pantries who come to the Food Bank to basically shop for those people who come to those pantries to get their food every week. Well, you know, this is a time where most of us are celebrating a big feast with our families and friends, uh, Thanksgiving coming up next week. And we think of the people that don't have those resources, don't have the food to put on the table to make a big feast. So this, this time of year, it's so important to get the word out to the community. We do need your help. The Food Bank of Manatee wants to suppress hunger in our county and everyone's support is gonna help us get there. I guess I'd like to stress the plus. It's Meals on Wheels Plus. We do so much more than home delivered meals, as you point out. It is the Food Bank of Manatee. It is the Renaissance on 9th, our active enrichment center. It is our adult day center out in Lakewood Ranch. And of course, we have transportation and the home delivered meals, which I must say are pretty tasty. Absolutely, we've had such a great support. You can see people were lined up before we even opened the doors today. So they truly enjoy coming to this event. In fact, they remark all the time about how much they love their bowls. They love coming to this event. So really, the community support is very meaningful to us today. I'm Karen Hodge, and I'm the marketing director for the Sandbar, Beach House, and Mar Vista restaurants. And we're proud to be here today to support Meals on Wheels Plus of Manatee uh, at the Empty Bowls event. We've been doing this event for probably about eight or nine years now, and we love it. It's a great way to show support for one of our most important organizations in Manatee County. And today we're serving Sunray, Venus Clams, Manhattan Chowder. And we're representing Mar Vista, but all three of our restaurants are serving this wonderful clam. Uh, it's a Sunray Venus clam. It's a local clam um, right here in Manatee County in Terracia. And a lot of great new things on our menu, but this is one of our stars. So we hope you'll come out and try all of our great uh, menu items. And come out today to support Empty Bowls and Meals on Wheels Plus in Manatee. Uh, Meals on Wheels Plus uh, does a lot of different things that people don't even realize. They're very involved in helping school children with their dietary needs and nutritional needs, as well as pets. A lot of people don't realize that they supply uh, pet food for folks that are trying to keep their pet, but maybe having trouble um, making ends meet. In addition to helping a lot of different people in Manatee County, not just the elderly, but anyone with a need for help in that area. Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> no, I think we're just all here supporting the event and supporting each other, and we like to get out there and try all the soups, too. So, <laughs> It's a great charitable event. It, it, feeds, uh, it feeds hungry tummies. You know, it feeds the, the neighborhood, children, people who, 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 uh, who don't have the means to, to buy food and eat nutritionally. Um, all the money here goes to feed hungry people. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm, I'm going on and on, but it's basically to feed people who can't afford to eat. Because the community has given to me. I mean, I have never had anything, uh, I have never had anything just come easy. Everything I've gotten in my life, I've had to work for. And everything I've worked hard for always involved other people, you know, in my corner rooting for me to, to help me make it work. 
And, you know, I want to be there for other people. I want to give back because people have given to me. This is a really, really old-style Sicilian soup. You hardly see it even in Sicily. It's called umaku. It's a fava bean soup with organic fennel, San Marzano tomatoes, and Porto from Italy, a ton of extra virgin olive oil. And then we finish it off with Parmigiano Reggiano and some more extra virgin olive oil over the top. It's really good. It's a winner. I serve it at my restaurant. Uh, you can go on my website at ortigiarestaurant.com. Uh, if you just put in Ortigia Bradenton on Google, I pop up about a hundred times and it'll give you directions and all kinds of reviews. The importance of Meals on Wheels Plus is it feeds people. You know, people need to eat. Manatee County has thousands and thousands of families with children who, 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 don't, eat, uh, who don't eat three meals a day on a, on, a, on a regular basis. You know, I think as a community we need to help others, you know, and feed them. Like I said once before in another interview, you know, just by the grace of God, either one of them could be us, we could be them. We just happen to be born into the right circumstance and the right family. Last Friday we were at Lakewood Ranch Main Street and we had a very good turnout. It seemed, uh, it seems like more people here though because we're in a smaller spot. So it makes it nice though because you can really visit with everybody and thank them for coming and making sure that they know that we appreciate that they support us like this. It's a very big fundraiser for the food bank and it really symbolizes hunger in America. By doing just the bread and soup and water, it's symbolic you know, of hunger. So it really brings our neighbors together. They like to come over for lunch. I've had people that have told me they've been here 10, 12 years and they try to match their bowls up to the ones they have. And so it's really wonderful to see the community support us when we're out here working like this. It's tremendous this year. We've had some events that are, are normally scheduled for this time of year that are not happening. They're going to be bumped later in the year. And uh, we're bringing a lot of food in, but as fast as it comes in, it goes out. The pantries are telling me that their numbers are still so high. I think that people are employed, but they're still not able to make ends meet, so they are still using the pantries. And especially during the holidays, when they have their kids home, next week the kids will be home all week long. We see that happen, and they need food to feed those children. So the demand is still up, and even though the donations are great and we're having a good you know, amount of food coming in, it just moves so fast. Uh, they can always donate. They can donate online. They can send in money and we can use that to purchase food if the uh, shelves get too low. They can donate food. They can just drive up to the food bank and drop off food. All the public libraries have barrels at the, at the libraries. The Goodwill locations have barrels. So if you have a location like that that's close to you, you can donate food. We're out there picking that food up every two and three days and those barrels are filling. It's a wonderful way to make it easy. But if they want to see the food bank, they can more than gladly come over and see what we do and, and meet the guys and the staff and all the hard workers we have over there and support us with the events like this. This is a tremendous thing to help support us when we do the events. So in all those ways, and if they uh, have time on their hands, they can always come over and volunteer. I'll put them to work. Yes, we are. We are always looking for volunteers in the food bank. We're looking for volunteers to help us with our shoebox project. We're looking for volunteers to drive our routes. We can involve the community with us and just bring them right along and, and you know, find something that is what their passion may be. Meals on Wheels Plus is all about ending hunger in our community, uh, helping in a nutritious way to, to help our neighbors. And it, we do so many things. We do the home delivered meals. We have the adult day, can, day center. We have the food bank of Manatee. There are so many programs that we offer. And if anybody wants any information, they can gladly call us. The phone number is 941-747-4655. And Kathy Call that answers the phone will give them more information than they need. <laughs> the people that need food in our community are really trying. They're trying to work, but sometimes it's just not enough. And hunger is 360. 65 days a year. It's not just at Thanksgiving. It's not just at Christmas. We need the support of our community to help us all year long because we are, that's our mission to stamp out hunger in our community and we'll be there with the support of our community. I am very proud. I'm very proud of all the people that I work with, all the board of directors and our CEO and CFO. I mean, they're all here, they're all being represented with us, and, and you can tell that it's, it, we all come together and we all try to make the events as good as we can. I think Meals on Wheels Plus and the Food Bank um, are probably uh, two of the most important uh, causes in our community. So I think anytime you can have a gathering such as this where uh, community, 
and restaurateurs can all be together and just enjoy time. Good food, fellowship, fun. Uh, it's just the perfect day. Uh, but most importantly, I think the fact that the proceeds that are raised from these events go to feed the hungry in our community. And, uh, you know, that's something that's devastating to those of us that have um, not had to deal with that. But very special to be a part of, of um, feeding the hungry. Well, I think from, the, um, from Manatee Memorial Hospital and the Manatee Memorial Hospital Foundation, uh, both of our organizations uh, are committed very strongly to, um, to making sure that those that are less fortunate uh, have access to those things that they need. So through Meals on Wheels uh, and the food bank, you have the, ac uh, the access to uh, uh, any food that you, that you need at any point during the year. Uh, it's also important that your staffs uh, at all these locations help collect food. Uh, we have food can drives all the time. Uh, and so we fill barrels uh, weekly at the hospital. So uh, it's sort of an ongoing tradition with us to continue to just, just be a part of this and uh, uh, the, the fellowship that you feel among all the partners that are involved. We are absolutely a wonderfully giving community. Uh, if, you, if you think about all of the causes that, that are important uh, uh, to individuals and families, uh, to see um, a region, a community such as ours, be so committed to what they're doing. Uh, it's very gratifying, uh, but it also just lets me know that I'm part of a, uh, of a family of communities uh, in the area that know what to do, how to do it, and uh, to feel good while they're there. Oh, this event's always one of our biggest of the year. It's a great success. Um, all the community cooperates with us, the other restaurants and so forth. Just a, a great fundraiser for us. I, I don't think I really have any competition here. <laughs> oh, there's some there's some very good ones, but I got them. I got I got it down today. This is a um, it's an apple and pear and brie soup. Um, it's made with fresh apple cider, apples and pears, a little brie, some cinnamon, some spices, and so forth. And finished with uh, dried cranberries and pumpkin seeds. Um, just something I pulled out of my head, I guess. <laughs> I've done it before. It's been a while, but I was thinking it's almost Thanksgiving, so it's kind of that time of year. Well, it kind of gets people to know the other things that we do offer. You know, we do a lot of catering here as well, and all of that revenue goes back into Meals on Wheels and the Manatee County Food Bank. So we all kind of work together, and uh, it's just a, it's a big event for us.